Maybe Meghan Markle decided not to join the grieving royal family at Balmoral. Maybe she wasn't invited. Either way, it's a sign that something's rotten between Harry and William. Following news of Queen Elizabeth II's ill health on the afternoon of September 8th, members of the royal family made their way to Balmoral Castle in Scotland to be by her side. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, happened to be in the UK before the events unfolded. They arrived in Manchester on Sunday, September 4th. The Duke and Duchess were in London on September 8th, preparing to attend the Well Child Awards that evening. Following the first statement from Buckingham Palace about the Queen's health, the spokesperson for the couple confirmed they were traveling to Balmoral. However, it was later confirmed that Meghan decided to stay behind in London. Harry continued on, arriving an hour or so after his grandmother's death was announced. There, he joined his brother, Prince William, and the rest of the immediate royal family to mourn their loss. It's a moment I've been dreading, mm. as, as I know a lot of people have. It's unclear why Meghan decided to stay behind, but it has certainly reignited speculation about a rift between Prince Harry and Prince William. Friend and royal commentator Omid Scobie spoke of the supposed feud between Prince Harry and Prince William in a column for Yahoo News, revealing that a senior palace aide told him, "...looking at the coverage, you would be forgiven for thinking that certain family members have had a say in the matter. They have not." In addition to that comment, a family friend told Scobie that Prince Harry is allegedly, quote, "...waiting for accountability from his brother." Oh, really? Please. Boom. They explained, Prince William was at the center of a number of painful moments, be it the actions of his own staff or turning his back when support was needed. It was a dark time, and one that so far William has been unprepared to attack. Hold up, wait a minute. Your family cut you off? Yeah, in the first half, the first quarter of 2020. On the other hand, the family friend added that William, Duke of Cambridge, is still waiting for an apology from Harry after speaking about private family matters on a global stage. According to The Sun, senior royals are reportedly avoiding a meeting between the two brothers until Harry's memoir is released later this year. Angela Levin, a royal biographer, told the newspaper, "...it's likely Catherine and William will try to avoid any contact with Harry and Meghan until they know the contents of Harry's memoirs and their Netflix documentary." She added, "...they've lost their chance of being trusted as the chances they will use any conversation." Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly staying at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. The couple lived there for a while before moving to the United States. Princess Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, now reside there with their young son, August. In the summer, Prince William and Kate Middleton, now the Prince and Princess of Wales, moved out of their apartment in Kensington and into Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. Despite being just 700 yards away from his older brother during his visit, Prince Harry hadn't met with William until they were at Balmoral together to mourn the loss of their grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II.